Hey guys, uh, this is just another redstone video I have, and it's going to be a junction that I haven't seen before on YouTube, so I think it's original, I'm not totally sure, like, again, like my last video, correct me in the comments if it's not, but it's just a simple little thing, let's just say my house is straight ahead, and your house is to the right, so the way this works is, I get my minecart, let me just spawn one quickly. Okay, put down, get in, hit the switch. There we go. So I'm going to my house, which should be straight. And it might have been hard to see what happened there, but I'll explain a little bit more later. And you can do this on the vanilla. I just use the uh, wireless redstone mod because it's a lot of redstone. I didn't want to wire it all. <laughs> So, this is the way it works. When your minecart is going forward, it would, it goes here and it turns. And you might be thinking, it's kind of redundant to have this turn here, but I'll explain it in a second. Turn through here, and then here's the junction. This is where you control the where, like where your minecart is going to go. So, if it gets power, this turns that way. And if it doesn't have power, it turns back that way. So the minecart jumps over that, and it jumps over this one, and it goes over here. You know, it goes to my house, whatever, then you come back. And the reason I have this here is because if it wasn't here, I'll go straight, and i go whip into your house. And I'll go, f and so what this does is I bypass that on the way back. And then the reason I have this, so then I can jump over this turn, land on here, go around this, and back to my place. And it's pretty simple. It's, uh, and what you would do if you were building this yourself is you would put a block here, like just that, and put one piece of redstone on it. That will cause it to turn. Because if I just, just a second, let me destroy it. If I just had this, uh, like if I just had it straight like that, see, it doesn't work. So what you do is you put the redstone down until uh, it turns like the way you want it. You, see, you can just destroy that if you want so it's not ugly. And here you can see I'm just using the uh, uh, wireless redstone. If you want to do it vanilla, you would just uh, put the block down one more under here. And when I, like I have made this in a vanilla before. So you just go through here and you line it up along here and go all the way down. Put a bunch of repeaters and the switch controls it from there. It's not too complicated. It's pretty simple. And you can just... Uh, do it whatever way you want. So, like, if I go to your house now, get in, hit the button, let's go. And now, I'm going to turn here, just turn, and then suddenly turn around. And in this, I don't even need the junction thing. That's why, uh, you know, I had to, uh, <laughs> that's why I had to do that turn there, so then I won't go to your house. But then, when I have it set to on, it just turns here, but I don't affect that at all. I just leave it the way it is. And it just turns here, lets me go through, and it's a pretty simple junction. And if you're looking at this, that'll be my next video. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look deceiving at all, no, does it? Yeah, well, okay, well, thanks for uh, watching. Just like, subscribe if you want more videos and more redstone stuff. I'll give you some. And uh, I'm going to try and get fly mods so it'll be easier to show you the stuff that I do. So, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later.